Tonight, the Dayton branch of the NAACP has also launched its own investigation. Our team coverage continues with Kelly May. She is live in West Dayton. Kelly. Yeah, Deborah, we spoke with the branch president here just a few moments ago. He has been in contact with John Crawford's parents and their family attorney because they filed a formal complaint with the NAACP the day after this shooting happened. Now, President Derek Forward says this branch has requested those Walmart security tapes, and he tells me that Attorney General Mike DeWine has assured this branch that they will be released to them requested some Beaver Creek police policies and any amendments that they have made to those over the last 30 days. They did applaud today, though, Mike DeWine's announcement that this will be heard by a grand jury, but they will continue to work closely with the Crawford family until they feel justice is served. Once the NAACP has been afforded the opportunity to witness the videotapes for ourselves, then we will take an official position on whether or not we would like to see the officers involved in the shooting to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Now, in speaking with Forward today, he did want to commend the public for acting so civil about this in their protesting. Reporting live in Dayton tonight, I'm Kelly May, ABC 22 News.